guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 4 of The Princess of Snow and Blood, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. This is why we never trust old people. I mean, are you like, okay, Elena, uh, Hannah, you, honey, you working for this effort too? I, I mean,. Seriously, is everybody <laughs> except our main protagonist? Like, is everybody working with this book? Because, <laughs> goddamn, like, once again, I have not, no idea what the hell is going on. <laughs> Just let Asahi be fine because that's all I care about right now because that child is precious. And I love her so much, and I don't need her to be changed into one. I need her to have a normal life again, even though technically, ever since her parent had died, she really doesn't have a normal life anymore. But still, why the fuck are you working with him? What does he have on you? Is it because of the fact that you're hiding that you're a woman? Why? No. I mean, to, to possibly provoke something in her. Oh, we all know that was fucking obvious. But it's to save Asahi, though. But she's ready for this. And what else is she supposed to fucking do? Hmm? Oh, fuck. Mm. Where did I go? Oh!
of course the bird's going to go after them. She needs the bird to transform. No. Look how cute she is! Ah, oh, Precious baby. No, no, Salway, you have a friend. Mm-hmm. Just takes time. Oh, hell no. Nah. F- mm. Fuck no on the snake. And of course, that's going to trigger her. Wait! I see. Oh, damn. What exactly do you want her to do, though? You want her to basically be trapped like a bird? You have no choice. Nah, it can't just be the sake of true freedom. There's got to be something else. What does he have on you? And it's got to be the fact is that you're a woman. Say no to drugs. (laughs) 
see, it always comes back to some blood bullshit saying that, oh yeah, only one person's blood can save, like, countless others. Come on, man. Like, really? Have we not gotten enough of this? But wait, you can't immediately kill him, Yatsawa. I mean, if you kill him, psh, I see he's good as dead. I mean, in a way you are, even though you're saying you're not. What the fuck? That's her brother, isn't it? Hold up, boy. Wait, 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 I'm confused. Hold up. Hell, y'all should have killed him before he even ate that. It's too late now, man. A bomb, maybe? Please hurry. No, I don't think Suki, you know, I, I think he wants to be good. No, I don't know. What the shit. Because, I mean, you know, her arm blew off. I mean, damn. Well, really, it got bad, but shit. If she over here bleeding from her damn arm, she might die.
on now. Of course you're going to have to eat one of those. I mean, that might help her get her arm back, maybe. But damn, you <laughs> okay? Aw, oh, shit, we setting it on fire. The fact that he still had, like, a little bit of strength. Get out of here! Get out of here! This girl just went on another fucking level. And I fucking love it. Just, you know what? Kill him and then just move on. God damn, Sawa. But see, didn't that feel like a little too easy? Too damn easy.
Mm-hmm. Bro, that was dark. I there was just even seeing him in a flashback to where she was a child, and I'm like, yeah, you did too. And then no, he's there on a cross, my Jedi. What the fuck? Like, mm mm. But you know what? I'm happy. She got revenge, and she got it well, and I'm happy for her. But I, I hate the fact that, you know, she has to leave her brother. She has to survive no matter what. But, the, it, okay, now the big question is, what the fuck is going to happen with this series now? I mean, because the biggest threat that was, you know, in her way is now gone. So, what what the hell are we doing for the rest of this series? Bushy Ma? What we doing? Like honestly, yeah. What we doing? Are, are we making a, a show to Aoi that you know, the the <laughs> the bad guy? No. I mean, I, I was expecting his character to die. Like really, really, one hundred percent sure that he was gonna die and such. But for him to go and be like flip floppy between Jodame and then working with Sawa and friends, and then. To get your arm cut off, technically he still got his sword, but he, yeah, but you ain't got no damn arm. Oh, but yeah, you got one. You could probably get a prosthetic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Uh, but something does tell me we will be seeing her again, possibly. I mean, because of course, like, what else is she gonna do? And then maybe she's gonna be like, wait, 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 wait hear me out. Yeah, I know, I kind of you know fucked with y'all and pretended to be a bad guy but you know really I'm, I'm a good guy but you know I'm like this as well I, I mean cause she it seems like she has her own reasons of why she took um the samples of Sawa's blood but it, it's it's freaking hilarious to me that it's her blood that they gotta use this it, it just reminds me because this now has become a trope and it, it, this is probably the only anime I've seen it in but I've seen it in countless and countless of movies where it's like, oh, hey, your blood can cure something. And you maybe say no, but in the end, someone's going to seal it anyway or some bullshit like that. Like, yeah, only like the main character's blood is the only blood that can save the entire world or the entire human race or something for this, is that, and the third. So whatever um, done in my one and for it, which... Hopefully we get a little more backstory on that. I mean, but now he's dead. So, honestly, really, I don't know where the hell we going with this now. This is this is very, like, how I feel with Two Year Eternity. Because the way that Episode 2 ended yesterday, I was like, I don't know where we're going with this. And I fucking love it. And that's the same thing with this show. I have no idea where the fuck we're going with, it, with this series. And where it's headed now that she's killed the one person who she wanted to kill for such a long time because of course she's not gonna die not yet it still seems like she has like more of a story still before she can really tell Asahi yeah now it's time for you to kill me so how however many fucking episodes we have left with this show um I honestly cannot wait to see what happens because Th- this shit went a little too damn fast I mean we're already done with her arc and so it's like okay what else can you get so are we now going to focus on the rest of the group from new way which would be elena i think his name was jen and then of course shota Aoi's character as well and their backstory is an issue because it would be nice because it, like for the first four episodes it was nothing but sawa and maybe like sawa still going to be necessarily the main character but she's going to be put back on like the background maybe not as much she'll still get a whole bunch of screen time and everything but I don't know, like, what the fuck they could possibly do with these next up and coming episodes. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of The Princess of Snow and Blood. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all <clears throat> next Tuesday for episode five. Bye, guys.